Hey everyone, Caesar from Lightworks. This is definitely long overdue. We'll do a quick uh, virtual shop tour and just discuss this year, kind of close out the year essentially. I uh, definitely been meaning to do this for a while to kind of go over everything, what we've done this year. The biggest thing in 2023 was the move to the new shop. And I'll start off in the area that you see the most on social media. And this is like the main showroom, sort of say. Now we spent a lot of time over the summer preparing the unit to move in, repainted everything. The floor was redone in the back area, laid the tiles down, lift got installed, new toolboxes, cabinets. It was an expensive year to say the least, but we use this move process as a Chance to start over, chance to be, chance to have a new start, essentially. Set up the cars in this position just to give you an idea of where the car sits at 25 feet away from the wall. We went through a lot of different configurations, essentially, to see how this was going to work out. We have a uh, loading dock door, but the main drive-in door is right there. That's the 10 foot wide door. And it presents an issue because you have to drive into the unit and turn back up for any reason, essentially, especially if you have a truck. So this Jeep here is parked 25 feet away from the wall. And this, this view leaves us no obstructions with the way that the lift is set up. So that's really nice. I think we planned it properly. And that was a big concern of ours. Where to put this wall? I don't know if you guys saw earlier this year, we actually moved this wall over from the old shop in three pieces. A lot of the stuff here we did by ourselves, just the three of us. So it was uh, an interesting, uh, you know, adventure essentially because we painted this place, overhauled it, installed this wall, um, brought over the LED lighting, power washed this whole unit. I mean, it was such a big job this year. And I must say, it came out really, really good. Everything came out awesome. Um, really took the chance to restart and have a proper area for content. We got the whole Husky lineup. I think it looks really good. I'm a little bit boring in terms of my color palette. I love grays, blacks, and whites. And kind of repainted it and went with that theme. Um, and the whole point of this area was to be able to show off what we do make great content, which I agree, it's been lacking in these last few months, and I'll explain later on why there's been a little bit of a lag in content. However, we can use this as a, as a content, um, you know, for to, to finalize this year, essentially. So we'll use this video as a shop tour and just a kind of a recap of what went down in 2023. But you can see we've got plenty of room. We've got easily room for four cars and we can grow in this shop, we can move forward. There's never four cars in here, there's usually just two cars in here, but we have plenty of space. Um, I'd love to you know, do some other things in here, but this area with the lift, we decided to put it over to the right because we don't use the lift a lot. And it's really mostly for difficult cars. A lot of European cars require the whole front end to be removed. And if we have a car that's going to be sitting on a lift, like let's say an E70 BMW X5, it won't tie up the area. So it'll be up in the air, fully stripped down, and we can still pull a car and install an HID system, you know, align a set of headlights and still be in a good spot. But it's super bright back here. This LED lighting just came out awesome. And this is actually one of my personal cars. I picked it up a few months ago. It's, uh, it's going to be a track build. It's in progress right now. Things have been a little quiet with it. Things have been busy with the Tundra. You guys have seen that. I'm building that up as a tow vehicle and a daily driver. And this uh, E92 is coming together uh, over the winter, essentially. But if you haven't seen the video on the floor tiles, check that out. It's on our YouTube. You know, the floor tiles really transformed the space. And overall, I'm just really happy with how this whole area came out. Um, got that brand new uh, lift installed. The other lift just didn't make it. It got transported. It needed a lot of uh, parts and the lift was like over 30 years old. So it just never really, um, yeah, 
it, it wasn't able to be resurrected, so to say. But I think our layout back here came out exactly where, how we wanted it. It makes a lot of space with this wall. This wall is about 19 feet wide. Sheet rocked it myself, painted it, painted everything in here, believe it or not, ourselves. Um, decided not to do the floor in this area because it's not a showroom area, it's really our inventory area and I'll explain the differences from our old space. In the old space, essentially the inventory sort of grew around us as we grew. If you see some of the older videos, six, seven years old, there was actually no um, inventory uh, in the aiming area. And as we grew over the years, the inventory just kind of surrounded us. Customers are hanging out in the same area where we have the you know, uh, work going on. There's inventory, people need, you know, Brandon needed to go and pack up a few boxes. And it's just, it didn't really work out. This whole area of the back of the shop is basically closed um, to the front end. And I'll go over the front end in a little bit, but the biggest thing about this space is the division of workspaces. So now we're essentially entering the uh, inventory area. There's obviously some long-term storage stuff up there. There's car parts. I'm always working on a project of mine, but we have a lot of shrouds, a lot of parts, a lot of boxes come in. Um, lately, it's been a ton of Porsche lens swaps. We'll get into that in just a moment. We've got our shipping area over there in the corner. And this is the inventory area. Inventory is not as big as it once was. It's hard to predict demand these days. It's been a weird year in that aspect, but we've got some inventory. We've still got some work to do, obviously, in here, but um, that is what it looks like. There's always stuff to do, but this is our inventory. We got that pallet rack uh, from a neighbor when they were moving out of the old shop in Oakland and I, uh, it came in handy. We should have got one of those a long time ago, but essentially this area is least used. I mean, I use this area about twice a day for installs or for a project of mine. And this area is used a lot. Brandon's usually packing things up and getting orders out. We're still doing a lot of uh, wholesale orders and we still deal with a lot of people that need parts and we're glad to be able to supply people those parts when they come in the shop. So this is like a uh, virtual walkthrough, you know, essentially. Um, and if you haven't noticed, I'll show you these doors, these doors open up into, the way that we set this wall up is we also wanted the wall to be set up in a way that we're able to aim. I'll show you how that looks like. All right, so I've got these doors opened up. And I'll show you the workspace in a second, but yeah, this is, we're using this li little slither of wall essentially to aim from the retrofitting table. If you guys remember in a lot of the videos, we had the table set up over here we're still using that same table. We just installed the LED lighting in this room. This is sort of like the back room, essentially. This area over here. Um, we set up some workspaces. This is really the dedicated room where <laughs> you can say the magic happens. So we added some cabinets. This is essentially where uh, the aiming is done from. That, that table that we had. And we're using that wall in the middle as the area where we're aiming the retrofits for, which there haven't been too many this year. Um, we do retrofits more sparingly. It's a lot of other different services like lens swaps these days. And when we do a retrofit, obviously we're using the back of this wall to aim it. And we can also use the bigger part of the wall. But what's nice is these doors close up and we're able to you know, run the heat in here, separate it from the back of the shop if I'm making a video or some kind of content, which is really nice. And nobody hears a thing. Everybody's got their own dedicated work areas, essentially. So um, one won't distract the other or impede the other of doing their job. So just sorted this place out. It definitely doesn't look like this. Normally it looks bare, but it was a little bit of a mess. And at the end of the year, especially, you want to start the new year in a good way and not feel like everything is messy. So uh, we've got cabinets for projects. We've got, you know, tons of boxes, tons of lights and boxes just waiting to be worked on. Uh, that's the old toolbox. It's really about repurposing. We've got the dedicated headlight oven, 
two of the companies that we mainly work with. We got the wiring area over here. We tried to make this area as dedicated as possible. Uh, we've got a restroom down here. We've got a little sink that we set up. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty basic, but it really does the job. And this is essentially that back room, the main retrofitting area. So this is what the outside of the complex looks like. It was interesting when I first saw this place, I was like, this is just not going to work. There's no, there's no workshop entrance here. It's kind of weird, but actually it's really quiet. It's a great area in East Hanover. Um, we have great neighbors and this is what the front end looks like. So as a customer, you'd walk through these doors, you go up into the office, which I'll go over next. And in the back is totally separate, separated from the front end. And that's the retrofitting room and upstairs is our office. So I think it's a great setup. And these are individually owned condo units. Uh, really great over here. So uh, that's what it looks like when you come into number five, Mary Lane. All right, so I'll walk you guys upstairs to the office. Like everything else here, we repainted, got the floor done upstairs, got the carpet done, and I'll show you what it looks like. So as a customer, you'd walk right up the stairs. You're essentially above the retrofitting area. And this is what the office looks like and our waiting room. Waiting room, essentially, we have one customer waiting at a time. So it's not the, uh, it's not the craziest setup here, but it looks nice. It's presentable. You used to be able to see a little bit more. Um, however, now we got the wall up, but uh, it, it came out really good in here. We got some new furniture, the couch came over with us. It's a good space, it's quiet. Brandon can talk on the phone without, you know, being in the mix too much and having things go off. So it's nice and quiet, it's dedicated. Got a lot of our product up here that we can go over with customers and if not, we can bring them downstairs. But um, that's my desk area. We got Brandon's over here. And I think that pretty much sums up, um, you know, this, uh, this shop tour. It's a nice neighborhood and it's nice to have some windows also. We don't feel like we're in a cave anymore. But yeah, we're doing a lot of these lens swaps. Um, I was involved in the Porsche community. I've got a lot of friends that are involved and there was a big demand for these lens swaps. We started doing a lot more of those. Another new thing that was done this year was we added um, a lot of listings to the website and people can buy the services on the website now. So a lot of the popular services, we're just doing more of them like the E46 conversions, E39s, E70s, BMWs, a lot of um, Supers as well. <coughs> Excuse me, just still getting over a cold, but yeah, um, a lot's changed. We thank you for your support. Uh, we love working with Morimoto Dynamics. Same old great crew. But we're still doing our thing. We're still retrofitting. It's just uh, the market and the demand's been changing. And we're glad to be a part of everything still. So um, we thank you for your support. I personally want to thank everybody. It's awesome working with everybody. And uh, we've, we were able to move into this unit. Super happy, super proud of what we've done and we couldn't do without you. So cheers to a great 2023. We look forward to 2024. And if you're not a subscriber of the channel, we uh, I definitely welcome you to be so. All right. Thanks again for watching.